No Jumper, coolest podcast in the world. Today, we're in here with my man, Y&W Melly, coming straight out of Florida. We've been friends for a few months now. I'm excited to have you in here, bro. How you doing? What's happening, my nigga? I'm feeling good. Feeling good? Yeah, you know, it's Saturday, just in here on the computer, doing what I do best. Feels good, you know? This is where you be doing all that shit at? Oh, yeah, this is where we do all the interviews, do the live streams, we do the, the exposed type interviews right over there. Um... We fuck people's girlfriends in the bathroom. Damn. Not me, but... I want some shit. <laughs> How you feeling, bro? Shit, I'm straight, it... You got some new ice since all I seen you. Listen, some, some. You got the Supreme Patty Chain. I got that, too. Right, yeah, boy. Mix the Supreme Patty Chain with the real jewelry. That's that's lit. Oh, the EVs up there, yeah. I believe it's real, too. I believe Why? Wow, Supreme Patty ain't gonna sell me some fake shit. Not mm-hmm. sell me. I got it in the mail randomly. Oh, no, no. I didn't get it in the mail. Oh, really? He gave it to he me. He gave it to you hand to hand. That's the lit shit. I need I need to be christened or turned into a knight by Supreme Patty like that. <laughs> you got the pearls on too. I like that. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? The drip. So uh, I'm gonna just sort of lay out the history of how I even know of you is because I was in Atlanta and I was in the studio with Grown Boy Trap and Drummer Boy, and then I met your manager, uh track, or f- is he still your manager? Yeah. Okay, he's not here right now. Okay. Just checking. Um, and he was telling me he had an artist, blah, blah, blah. I got his number, and he sent me the link, and he said, yo, this dude's in jail, but this song is going crazy. I checked it out. It was indeed crazy. That song was murder on my mind, but he's like, oh, he's locked up. So what were you locked up that time when I found out about you? Like, when you, you started to blow up while you were in jail that time, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. A piss violation in um, that song. Wait, in that song? No, like I had a I had a piss violation, but I I kept passing them, so they couldn't use that against me. And then they just brought up my because I was on probation. And uh-huh. They just brought up my other one. They brought up my um, song, murder on my mind in court. And then they sent me, sent they, me back. So they sent you back to jail just because of that one song? A, a few other too. But like what uh, what about the song? Just the fact that you were talking about violence in the song and shit? Yeah, in the chorus. That's she, crazy. She singing, singing. Do you, that, doesn't that seem insane? Like that seems like it's been happening a lot more lately too. That you hear about rappers having trouble because of their lyrics. Yeah, yeah. Shit, raised. All right. Well, tell me a little bit about where you're from before we get into all that. Shit, I'm from Guilford, a little town in Florida. Uh huh. Nobody, nobody make it out of there. Yeah. Nobody even knows about it. I don't feel like. It's, what's it close to though? Is it close to Orlando or something? It's like an hour from Orlando. Okay. Hour and fifteen minutes. And like what? Kind of, you grew up in the projects, you grew up in a little apartment complex. What was it like? Shit, I was in these apartments at first in Orangewood, and I moved, I moved to like Whisper Palm, some little like Mexican houses. Okay. You know what I'm talking about? Well, what, it's just like a Mexican type neighborhood? Yeah, but the house looked Mexican too. Oh, that like old style architecture or whatever? Yeah, with the two doors on that bit. Right. So, <laughs> you, so you moved into that shit? Yeah, then, then I moved to Oslo. Okay. The other little town. Right. Like, 10 minutes, 15 minutes away. Where do you stay when you're in Florida now? Miami. What, you you, you be in the penthouse now? You switched off on everybody? No, nah, no, nah, I got a house. You know what I'm saying? Oh, that's what's up. So what, what were your parents like when you were a kid? I don't even want to answer that shit. What, they weren't around like that? No, nah, it ain't even that. I just don't feel like answering that type of shit. Interesting. Why you like to be mysterious about your, uh, your history, how you came up? No, nah, it ain't even that. Interesting. So, okay, you finished high school? What was your, your childhood yeah, like? Yeah, I got my GD the last time I got locked up. I got it. I got it in there. Wow, okay, so very recently you got it? Yeah. Is it easier to get it when you're in there? Hell yeah, because yeah, you ain't got nothing else to do. But <laughs> uh, They, like, kind of take it easy on you because you're already in a crazy-ass situation, too? No, they said the, the, the one I took was, like, one of the hardest ones in Florida. Uh-huh. So I was like, shit. But I ain't even... I ain't even really like study. I just prayed to God every day. You, know what I'm about? you didn't really study? Uh-uh. Damn, man. I don't understand how the fuck that works. I had to study in school and I still did terrible. You went to high school? Oh, yeah, in high school. I was I was terrible. I had to go to summer school and shit and I was still doing awful. You had auto tattoo when you was in high school? Hell no. <laughs> that would have been illegal. Yeah, no. When did you get your first tattoo? Shit, like. 
Probably like a year and a half ago. Oh, okay. So I'm, you're making me think you were all tatted up when you were like 14. Nah, but all my niggas were like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Do you get tattooed in jail or nah? Nah, hell yeah, nah. It should be ugly. Dude, I seen some dudes in the in the hood in Long Beach yesterday who had like crazy ass tattoos from jail that were like they really, really go good. Prison, yeah. They ain't going there. Like, shit. <laughs> yeah, you weren't deep enough? Nah, I, mean, I ain't going there. Motherfuckers had two brushes while I'm at. <laughs> Electric two brushes. Fuck your shit up. Oh, damn. That's grimy. Yeah. Um, all right. So you're in, you like, did, at what point did you uh, drop out of school, though? That bit was like really like. Basically, like, 10th grade, really. Okay. Were you yeah. getting a lot of trouble and shit? Yeah, I had went to jail for the school shooting thing I did. School shooting thing? Yeah, I was shooting by school. Oh, I, like, just near it? What was that situation? Nigga just siding. <laughs> Nigga siding. <laughs> Is that some shit with, like, the school zoning? Yeah, and then, like, it was just, like, so I thought a nigga, nigga had my gun, you know what I'm saying? I had brought it to school one day, then he told that I had that bitch at school, and then he fought. I guess he had his homeboys follow me. And then I guess when I went to the office to get searched, they came back, they doubled back and had the, the pistol. But I ain't never, like, pay attention to it because I was still trying to find out who the fuck had my shit till one day I found out they had my shit. And the next day I just went, had, I had to bust at them boys for that. Wow. So it gets it gets real out there, I guess. Nah, niggas be acting right now, you know. Um, all right. So when did you start rapping? Or what kind of music were you growing up on before you even started rapping? I started rapping in eighth grade. I was I was listening on um, like Michael Jackson, Lil Wayne, the uh, YouTube, Chris Brown, Lil Ed Sheeran. Lil Ed Sheeran. I think he was out there. No, I don't know. What is it about Ed Sheeran? And Wiz Khalifa, though. Wiz Khalifa. Fair. So you, uh, but you, you love Wiz Khalifa? You used to be a pothead, or did you just kick that habit later on in life? What? No, you don't smoke weed, right? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I smoke weed now. Oh, you do now? Yeah. Okay, because when we hung out a few months ago, you weren't, right? No, I don't want to smoke. Was, so is this a new thing, or were you on papers at the time? I was just on papers at the time. Oh, all right. So, uh, right, but what about Ed Sheeran? I'm interested in that part. Yeah, I just fuck with real music, like, and shit, like, real music, real, like, you feel it, you know what I'm saying? Right. And I like, like making the same type of music. Man, you actually mentioned the Ed Sheeran thing before, because we were out, like, a, we were at a studio or something, and they had an Ed Sheeran record on the wall, and you were talking about it then, too, and I yeah. thought it was, I thought you were, like, joking around then, too. I would dead ass you. <laughs> Adele? I fuck, Adele, Adele really? Man, she's huge. I, I listen to her once in a while. Like when she, when her album came out the last time around, I tried to give it a full listen through just so I f could feel like I knew what people were talking about. Yeah. Listening all the uh, <laughs> Usher, dude. All the yeah. Uh, Usher, love in the club. <laughs> you like that one? Way back, dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, that was way back to you. That's yeah. not that way back to me. I was still like a grown ass man when that song came out. <laughs> I yeah, was thinking, uh, who's really having all the sex in the nightclub? Oh no, that doesn't go down in Florida, right? Yeah, no. <laughs> um, all right. So you were listening to all that shit. At what point you decide to actually make a song, and when did that happen? When I was in eighth grade, like I was sitting in the class and I met a nigga, met a nigga named Joel Lewis, and motherfucking um, he just asked me that day. He, we, he told me his name was Nuckin and shit. I said my name was Jamel and all that shit. Boom. Nigga said he wanted to um he had a, a mic in a damn a mic with a with a with a hanger in front of that bitch with a wave cap on it. He said shit, we can make a song. Just right. in his room or some shit? Yeah. You feel like you took to it right away? Yeah, I I was like shit, I'm gonna rap today. Like But I always was like I had rhythm and all that. You just I ain't never like officially put it on a song until then, you know what I'm saying? Right. So, uh, did you start to like, you know, get your shit early on together, or was it did it take you a while to sort of get in the zone in terms of what you had to do? I was always like making sure my craft was perfected. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Always got to stay on. It. Did it take a while for like the people that you were around in school and shit to start to, you know, like 
understand that you were doing your thing or or was it did it take a while? Nah, at first it was weird. Like everybody thought I was weird, but then I started dressing like different from everybody, but doing other things like then they they liked my sound, they liked the way I dressed and then you know what I'm saying? They'll see you with a lot of lights and all that. You know how that go. When did it start to actually pick up? Like when your music started to get really noticed and shit? Like I even think, on, even on like a high school level or like a SoundCloud level or whatever it might have been at first. That bit was always booming in school. Like especially like high school, everybody was funky. So I was like, yo, okay, yo. Finna blow. We are next. Yeah. When did you start to actually like when you start to feel like you you sort of had a, a shot in terms of like being able to to really like make something out of your music, was there anybody who sort of led you in the right direction and shit? Yeah, a couple people, yeah. But then like, shit, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just slowly over time, people sort of assisted you in terms of like figuring out how to how to do stuff and everything. Yeah, yeah. So by the time you got locked up, like when I found out about you, though, like did you, had you had like really started to have conversations with labels and stuff like that, or had you because that no, Mer- that that started when I got out this time. Oh, like, okay. All that though, but. So murder on my mind. When when did you write that, and what was going on in your head when the you wrote it? The first time I got the first time I got locked up. You wrote it while you were in jail. Yeah, okay. but I ain't trying to even talk about that either, though. It was too crazy. Yeah, it wasn't really. You know what I'm saying. I made it when I was locked up, though. Mm-hmm. And then, what, you got out for a little while and you were able to record it and put it out? Yeah. And then you went in again because they were mad about the song? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so was it weird, like, this most recent time? Because you're, you're locked up and, like, the song's starting to go up and, like, you are you had, like, a million plays by the time you got out that time. Yeah. Was that fucking you up? You're, you're in there. You're finally starting to see some su- real success, but you can't even, like, really enjoy it because you're behind the bars. Yeah, yeah, that shit was like, I ain't, I, I knew it was going to happen, you know what I'm saying? But it was just like, damn, I ain't know I was going to be locked up while it was happening. Mm. Did you know that was going to be the song? Yeah. Just had a feeling? So, um, you get out this time, and, like, you've had a lot of songs start blowing up since then. Like, the Blue Balen- Balenciagas one is the one that stands out to me the most. Mm-hmm. But was that your attitude when you got out? You are just like, yo, I'm just going to straight go in and just start doing mad more videos? and. Yeah, I came out with that energy. I still got it though, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, I made that when I was locked up too though. Mm-hmm. That's crazy. So what you're you're pretty good at writing uh writing verses and stuff without even having a beat? Not even write, I just beat on my chest, make it from scratch and then like I find the perfect beat for it. Once you get out. Damn, that's crazy. Um shit, so like yeah, how how are you enjoying your life? Like you've been just seeing a lot of a lot of new shit that you haven't seen before since you got out the stuff. Yeah, shit, life been good to me, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I thank God every day for everything you do for me, you feel me? Does it feel crazy just because, like, you're coming from the perspective of a person who ain't really, like, ever had shit? Yeah, but, like, I always had faith, you know what I'm saying, that this was going to happen. So, it's like, it's a big it's a big blessing, but I know I got to keep going further, you feel me? Yeah. What, uh, like... Uh, what's the average day like in the life of you at this point? Like, what are you what are you doing in your, your average day? Shit, studio, working music videos, and we just coming up with more plans and everything. Yeah, you've been, you've been working like crazy on the music side of things. Yeah, the studio, yeah, most definitely. What's like the recipe of what you need when you're in the studio? Because I seen you getting drunk as shit in there when we were in there. Fucking yeah, some goddamn henny and motherfucking sprite. With the Red Bull. You need all three? You need a Red the Bull Swiss, and the Hennessy? The Swisher with that light in that bit. You're a Swisher guy. Yeah. Damn, bro. I thought I knew I you. Smoke, I smoke a grabber too, though. No backwards? You might catch me hitting that bitch one time, depending on who made that bit. What if it's from me? What if I give it to you? Where's my backpack? I don't even have my, my, my stash of pre-rolls. <laughs> I hit that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> so what you got tattooed on your face? Tell me about it a little bit. What? On my face? Yeah. We got the heart on this side. Yeah, heart. What's that say above your eyebrow on that side? Which side? Oh, either one. What's I know, it? I know, oh. I know I got Sat Chase right here. That's my brother. That's my twin. Okay. And I got Juvie. Juvie? Yeah, my brother. Just a lot yeah. of your friends who passed? Yeah. No, nah, they're my niggas right there. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> my brother's right there. My bad. I wouldn't get none of my friends tattooed on my face until they died. 
Yeah. Uh, I'm not a good friend like you are, apparently. Nah, this shit for life. <laughs> What's uh, cash motivated, like it says on your chain? Some fuck shit. I ain't trying to tell. <laughs> <laughs> what, is some old shit that you're not, not necessarily a part of anymore? I don't want to talk about that. Oh, ah, interesting. Huh. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. Who, who have you met in the game, like, since you started blowing up that's, like, showed you love and shit? Like, I know I've seen you in, like, hella nightclubs and just, like, politicking with a lot of, like, people ever since you got out. I mean, shit, I met Thug and I met Future. That's how, really, like... How are those? Right. You know what I'm saying? Because that's really who a nigga, like, listened to, you feel me? And really, like, looked up to, you feel me? Those are, like, two of your biggest inspirations? Yeah, and Michael Jackson and shit. You yeah. Feel now I feel about Thug and Future. A lot though. of these rap niggas though, a lot of these rap niggas though, but they don't really excite a nigga like that no more. Cause like, I just be like, I I see their ass on TV when I was locked up, and then I see their ass, so I be like, what the fuck? Shit be weird. I feel like Thug and Future are like the real stylistic innovators. So that somebody like you is capable of actually respecting them, cause it's like they're doing more than just rapping. They're actually like really doing things that are creative when they're on tracks. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What uh what is like your big goals in terms of just like shit that you want to accomplish in this music shit? I know I wanna I, I want like like I wanna like fifty artists. Fifty artists? Yeah. Like under you you wanna sign fifty artists? That's that would be tight. I don't want fifty artists, that's too much. No. Hell no. They all gonna be some of them better than me. Yeah. Nah. You know what I'm saying? So it's going to be like, damn. It's going to shock the whole world. I would need like 500 people if I wanted to manage 50 artists. Even, no. <laughs> maybe not 500. Yeah, but like nah. a lot. <laughs> yeah, no. Nah. That sounds like a lot. Fucking damn. Uh, how long you been out in L.A. this time around? Like since I got here. Yeah. Since I got here like yesterday. Did a show. Oh, yeah, yeah. How was that show? It was great. Nice. Yeah, my, my cameraman was in there. You told me that you were you were the highlight of the show. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Shit. So what what's the Y N W Melly uh, relationship status? You got a girlfriend or not? Yeah. You do. And she on my face. Oh, where at? Oh, that's her name right there. Okay. I didn't realize that. Damn. Good for you. She's been with you through all the shit that you got you've been through. Yeah, she done put up with a lot of shit. <laughs> Don't they all? That's a fact. Um, shit. Who else? So, who are you planning on working with, like in the rap game that you haven't worked with yet? Shit. Uh, Future. God damn. Told you already. I'm gonna do one with Ed Sheeran, probably Adele. God damn. I can do one without all the rap niggas. Man. Yeah. Once you get Ed Sheeran, all the rappers are. I got singing. some shit bumming out on T Grizzly though. Fuck with T Grizzly. T Grizzly, that's a fire yeah. one. Who's it? That's black. Uh, oh, Schooly too. Scooter? Schooly. Oh, Schooly. No, Schooly hard too. We put out a video of Schooly on the channel recently. But I thought you said Scooter, like Young Scooter, and I got kind of hyped. Oh, you fought with Young Scooter? Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, yeah, that boy be snapping. Up. Little Mexico. Nah, man. I, I was, young Scooter, like, it's interesting because, like, I remember when I first started getting into doing rap interviews, somebody told me that I wouldn't like hanging out with Young Scooter because he's too street. They're like, you wouldn't get along with him. He's too, he's too rough. But yeah, yeah, I kind of yeah, th- yeah, Now that I think pulled. about it I'm like he'd probably be cool Nigga pool man Yeah He'd only be probably lame If he like Didn't like you But that's for everybody <laughs> If he didn't like yeah. me Then yeah If I was just some random to him But if he like Thought he was gonna get an interview He'd probably be cool Yeah that boy be vibing him <laughs> I can't say too much But that boy be vibing him Yeah When I seen him yeah boy, I believe it Yeah he's probably, I mean he probably still robs people For drugs and stuff I assume based oh, on his music. <laughs> to me, I can never like sep- I can never treat Young Scooter like just a regular person because he's just the jug king. <laughs> like, he just got all these mixtapes about selling coke and d- licks and jugs and traps and everything. I'm like, I don't want to like. If I saw Young Scooter at the grocery store, I'd be pissed. Be like, I don't want to see you like a regular dude, man. Young Scooter, yeah, that boy been snapping over. Yeah. So, uh, what have you been spending all your money on since you, since you got out on these streets? Shit. Motherfucking cheer ain't got them. Motherfucking got a house and shit. Dude. Yeah. Oh, that's the spot in Miami. And music, really. 
Just stuff being, that just better my, you feel me? The studio and shit gets Some expensive. Appearance, huh? everything, you know what I'm saying? Shit I want for music videos and all that. Yeah, you've been going high end. That that mirror on my mind video is crazy. Yeah, yeah. Appreciate that. The only part that I think seems unrealistic is I don't feel like they would just let you be right next to the fucking, the stretcher. Like they're rolling the stretcher out and then you're right next to it. And I was looking at that and I'm like, I feel like by the time they put the stretcher out, they probably would already have it taped off and not let you near that. <laughs> I know fuck that's that, not nigga. really an important detail. <laughs> nigga was bucking. Fuck that. I got ahead of the ass. <laughs> <laughs> Paramedics ain't going to tell me shit. That. Oh shit! All right. So what's the, what else is it important for uh, the people to know about YNW Melly? Like besides what? What's the YNW stand for? Young nigga world. Oh okay. You did young nigga ways. You know what I'm saying? Okay, I didn't know that. Yes sir. That's important information though. <laughs> you damn right. <laughs> damn right. Um. What? It, so we want the people to know about you and what you got coming out for the near future. The young nigga ways tape. You know what I'm saying? Oh. Me and all my brothers, my artists, you did. I'm gonna drop about 30 songs on the tape. You know what I'm saying? And we're going on tour. Oh, word? Tour starting next month. I think September 11th. We're gonna have everything set up. You know what I'm saying? I got a, a few artists bumming out, ready. Oh, shit. You ain't been on, like, have you been on tour so far? Like, just for a couple of days or, like, not like a full one? No. This is gonna be my first one. That's exciting. Yeah. You gonna get into some fuck shit on the road or you gonna keep your nose clean? What you talking about? My nose is gonna be bling. <laughs> Facts. Yeah. Shit. The last thing I wanna know is, is can you tell me what the price point is on this fucking fur thing you got over you? It's pretty hot in here, I'm gonna be honest. You don't give a shit. No. You don't even know. It's just fly. Yeah, it's just drip. Sometimes it don't even matter about the price. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I could have bought this shit for $30 and sell it for 2000 Real drip doesn't have a price tag, I guess is the yeah, important you know what I'm thing. Saying? I support that. Shit. Well, YNW Melly, bro. I appreciate you coming through. Yes, sir. Definitely good to get to learn something about you. Are you going to be in the studio tonight? Or what are you doing? Yeah. Hit me up, bro. Gotcha. I'll come through. We'll maybe we'll still have some of that Henny left. Maybe I'll have to get my own. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Can I ask you one question? Yesterday I was in the hood filming some shit and this dude had a thing that he called the Henny Lady. Yeah. Just a lady who pulls up and sells Henny. You no. Think they don't got that in your hood? Nah, they be motherfucking um, going around with the um the slushes and shit though with the with the henny in them and shit. Oh. You could you could hit you could hit you used to when I was in the in the G and shit, you could you could slide to this lady house shit, hook you up with the henny for the little. Yeah. With the with the butts of the henny and shit. See, this lady was pulling up. She had a big ass thing of Fanta, and the Henny pulls it out. Blah blah blah. Just they hand over the money. I need her number. Yeah, for real. This is this is down Long Beach. But then the best thing too is that the fool goes, uh, and can't nobody rob her either because she's the homie's the homie's mom. And he said that she been doing it for years, and ain't nobody ever got her. Yeah, no. But this shit, this is California though. Y'all can wait. Anybody could get got. Nah, she probably sold like GTA for real. <laughs> you think it's crazy out here? Yeah, yeah, this shit feel like GTA. Why? Cause I, nigga been seeing all the shit I see on GTA. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's uh. I thought you were saying you're like running up to people's cars and throwing them out and yeah, hopping that's in. What I'm talking about. Like, <laughs> that's what it be feeling like. Like whenever <laughs> anybody comes here for the first time though, who's played a lot of GTA, they always are like looking out the window on the highway and shit. Like, bro, this is crazy. Yeah, yeah. You see it so much in that game. I never really played it enough to like notice they that. They be down here like the people from down here. They be acting like this shit just regular. Like that shit crazy. Dude. I mean, yeah. you know, so much fucking random ass weird shit happens that like people act like it's normal. Somebody told me they're like some guy got shot down the street and they were talking about he was wearing all Gucci when he did it. And like nobody caught him or anything. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like a bunch of you are telling me that he was wearing all Gucci and nobody saw him. And they're like, yeah, he, he was out of there. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, man, where the fuck am I, bro? That sounds scary as fuck. For some reason, the idea of him wearing all Gucci doing it makes it way crazier. <laughs> Yeah. Like why Why do you care about looking good doing that, that bro? That type of shit, we be on. Uh, I believe it, bro. Not me. If I had to do some dirty work, I'd do it in Old Navy. <laughs> nah, Burberry or something. Okay. Just keep it low-key. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, yo. I appreciate you uh, coming on the show, bro. I'll see you in the studio tonight. Yes, sir. Pow. No Jumper. Coolest podcast in the world. Check us out on YouTube, SoundCloud, iTunes. YNW Melly. Search him. YouTube, Spotify, Apple Music, iTunes, all that shit. You did. Peace.